Yeah. You made it then. Is that enough after Jeb? No more than usual. Must be trying to impress his date. Oh, someone's got a date. Come on then. Who's the lucky lady? Gail's just kidding. Uh, Fibber, he's taking Charity out for lunch. You're not serious. Charity. She suggested it. Obviously, she's just messing around. I mean, hardly her type, am I? Well, she seemed pretty determined to me. Rule of the hills, mate. That's my advice. Kay's right. She's gonna eat you alive. Right. Well, if that's the general consensus, I probably shouldn't risk it. <gasps> Doctor. Bang on time as well. Gotta say, I love a man who's punctual. You were saying? Date's on, then. Well, why wouldn't it be? Of course he was gonna show up. And do you know what? Why shouldn't I have some fun? God knows I deserve it. Listen, you don't mind my uh, taking her out here. You? You're asking permission? Well, yeah, isn't it? Like sort of bro code. You know, don't date your mate's exes. You know what I think? Humor her, pay the bill, and scalp her. Right then, Doc. Let's see what you're made of. Well, uh, have fun. Being asked out by a fellow with letters after his name. Well, I didn't ask you out exactly. Huh? I mean, not, not that I wouldn't. It's just that uh, I just didn't think I was your type. We're well, the polar opposite of Malasquez. And that makes you my type. Is that why you singled me out? This sudden interest is. I mean, it's quite out of the blue. Well, that's how Cupid's arrow strikes sometimes. Finding lust in mysterious places. Trust me, if the chemistry wasn't here, I wouldn't be either. I'll am too, on a date. Mm. Well, she certainly dressed for it. And he pulled out her chair so she could sit down. And that's how you can tell. They do look pretty intense. Poor Bella must be terrified. <laughs> so come on then. Tell me about this sideline he was writing steaming novels. Oh. Uh, well, they're novellas. Mm -hmm. Sort of murder mystery, moments of passion, but only what the narrative allows. Interesting. Do you read? Um, I was on my phone. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I meant, I meant books. <laughs> no, don't have time for that. <laughs> I used to. Raunchy novels. Get the pulse racing. I think it's racing now. It is. You must have that effect on me. I mean, a racing pulse can be caused by all sorts, you know, anxiety, overactive thyroid. <laughs> Don't need a diagnosis. Sorry. <laughs> it's a force of habit. The human body never ceases to mystify, even after all these years. Well, hey, you've yet to study mine, Doctor. <laughs> Slapped you! <laughs> Right across the face. I was mortified. Well, you won't be putting your stethoscope there again, will you? Not a cold one, that's for sure. Speaking of cold ones, do you fancy one for the road? Oh, go on then, twist my arm. So you made it out alive, then? Huh? It looks that way. You know, it's all rather thrilling. How'd it go? Uh, yeah, it was worth it, devil. Is that it? Well, all right, it's not bad company, but it's certainly not for me. Walk all over it. She really is a remarkable woman. Don't go taking a shine to her. I think I already have. <laughs>